Hey YouTube, how's everybody today? Nice to hear. Uh, so today I want to talk about this band called The Ladies. 2006 album called They Mean Us. Uh, the Ladies being Zach Hill and Rob Crow. Zach Hill is this very uh, a uh, prolific underground drummer. He's one half of the band called Hella. He's also in a bunch of other projects like Twiggy Ramirez project called Goon Moon. He's part of Holy Smokes. Uh, he's part of this band called Crime and Color, Nervous Cop. He's played on some uh, Preview 73 tracks. He's got a lot of solo workouts. Uh, he's collaborated with Les Claypool. And Zach Hill, of course, is an indie rock artist who's from Pineback and this, I don't know what Goblin Cock is anymore, some sort of like his stoner sludge experimental metal band, I don't know. And then he also has a very uh, prolific solo career as well. Uh, so yeah, you got pretty much Zach Hill's distinct drumming style, his weird kind of off-kilter, complex, mathematical drumming. It's very frenetic and spastic, matched with Rob Crow's like sentimentality, his you know his great singing voice, his you know indie rock guitar kind of stylings, and this pretty much smash both worlds together, like indie rock and math noise rock together, and you just get this you know it's you get this album that's full of songs. It sounds like they're on the verge of like falling apart and stuff. It's a very bumpy ride for an album. It's not 100% accessible. It's not really a perfect album. Uh, but it's really good. Like, it has a lot of interesting ideas and like a couple of good songs. Uh, the album is only 12 songs and 34 minutes long, which I was kind of disappointed to learn since the album took two years to make and was recorded in like several different studios and locations, including Rob Crow's house. But yeah, like there are a lot of good songs in here, but I just wish they would have expanded on the ideas a little more and made them, you know, a little longer because a lot of the good songs in here are just like a minute and like 10 seconds and there's three songs in here that are under 30 seconds and like three other songs that are just under a minute and a half and the last song is called Mandatory Cycle Freak Out and it's a 12 minute just free for all kind of like I don't know bombastic kind of jam thing wasn't that bad really it was kind of interesting to listen to like the biggest gripe on this album is probably like Zach Hill's drumming style doesn't really match up with the music all the time like there's a couple of times where it's kind of in a lower gear and Zach Hill will still be like drumming his ass off doing all these kind of like just weird time signature drummings and like it sounds like he needs this perpetual drum solo motor he's just going 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 and he's not really having any like clear rhythm pattern and what's going on though but it's kind of maybe what makes the band kind of so endearing and fun to listen to like all this clattering drums and cacophonious noise like there'll be a sections of some songs that'll have the just noise interjected into it just out of nowhere like oh noise in it now but uh rob crow is pretty good at keeping the whole thing anchored down keeping a good degree of like you know sincerity and sentimentality in a lot of the songs i wouldn't be surprised to hear like mike patton maybe like collaborating with these guys in the future because he does a lot of work that's like this too it's very mathy complex weird you know, heavy indie rock, noise rock type shit. But yeah, it has a very distinct sound. A lot of the songs are very pleasant to listen to. It sounds a little bit messy. You can be a little aimless at times. Uh, a lot of kind of, I would, I don't know, want to say pointless interludes, but there's a lot of just like 30 seconds interjections of just like some weird like drumming and guitar playing and then it stops. And it's like, whatever. It's got an almost progressive sound on here, but it could have been more, you know? They could have done a lot more. It took two years to make this and record it and produce it. It could have been a little you know, a little more fleshed out, a little more full. Uh, but yeah. it's pretty much all there is to it. Just some weird album art on the cover. Of like, some scribbled, messy looking drawing with some stick figures on it. I guess that represents the music pretty well. It's all kind of messy, and then it's got some pretty little stick figures put on top. Kind of represents the music a little in that sense. Then you just get the lyrics on the inside. That are kind of hard to read because they're kind of written in chicken scratch, and then you got all these kind of red drawings underneath. It makes it kind of hard to read. And yeah, these red drawings aren't of anything that I can decipher. Just more scribbled kind of doodles, and I can't really decipher if there's any meaning to any of these songs. Really, just weird songs about life, maybe relationships and stuff. 
cracked lip smile. I can feel it seep in. I breathe in. I, br I can breathe underwater, but I can't breathe in your bed. Let me out of here. Fire breaks birthday cakes. Fire breaks birthday cakes. I guess that's true. Maybe. But yeah, there. like I said, there was a bunch of good songs. Songs I really liked were like song four, which is Empathy on a Stick. I also enjoyed uh, So Much for the Fourth Wall was a good song on here. But yeah, it's got all these interludes, noise interludes called Recycler 1A, Recycler 1B, Recycler Z. Yeah, very weird album, definitely not 100% accessible, definitely not for everybody, but if you like, you know, Rob Crow's singing style, his very distinct, very pleasant to listen to voice, and then Zach Hill's like super distinct uh, drumming spastic, sporadic drumming style. You can definitely get into this. It does have good songs, lots of interesting ideas, lots of creativity. But yeah, it's really short. It doesn't last very long. It goes by very fast. And a lot of the good ideas they have on here weren't expanded on properly, I feel. Which is kind of disappointing. But yeah, overall good album. I enjoyed it. Uh, the Ladies, They Mean Us, 2006 Temporary Residence. Peace.